Well, little lady, let me elucidate here. On October 17th, 2017, Danny Gonzalez published a YouTube video titled Lele Pons Teaches Me How to Stand Up to My Bully. In this video, Danny reviewed and made witty quips about Pons' Instagram videos and one of her YouTube videos titled How to Not Get Bullied. Although Lele Pons may not be a master comedian, Danny made some noteworthy points that are applicable to himself as well. Thus, the definition of hypocritical comes into play when reviewing Danny's comedy. According to the Oxford Dictionary, the definition of hypocritical is a person who pretends to have a moral standards or opinions that they do not actually have. In this case, Danny opined that Lele Pond's comedy had these characteristics as he mentioned within the first five minutes of his video. They sort of have a direction at the beginning and you know where they're gonna go and then all of a sudden it's just like madness. At a certain point, you just have no idea what's going on anymore. Like, di the dialogue in these is so weird. Just like, it's comedy that's based on situations that never happen. Like all of the points that Danny makes about Lele's video applies to his form of comedic commentary, as we will see in this special, Danny Gonzalez, a hypocritical comedian. At a certain point, you just have no idea what's going on anymore. Like, like most YouTube commentators, Danny employs a brand of observational comedy where he would show you a clip or a number of clips and commentate on them. However, Danny does not seem to understand the definition of observational comedy or has a faulty understanding from watching mainstream comedians and other YouTubers. What Danny does in his clips is either blatantly state what is on the screen and he colors his mom pink back home from a long day at the mall and they're playing tabletop bowling again. Hashtags have absolutely nothing to do with the video. So his hashtags in this are hashtag Russia, hashtag Poland, hashtag France, hashtag Muser. And the caption is, I love you, heart. Check out my new picture on Instagram. And his stepdad green. Side, you'd better keep an eye on what you're eating. Lots of- Jeez, he's pissed, dude. How hard is he scarfing down these chips that he doesn't notice that he's picking up chips, hard, crisp chips, and then he picks up a soft, cotton pad, and how does he not notice before he puts it in his mouth that it's not the same as all the chips, the hard chips that he's eating? Video, he puts some body paint in his parents' shampoo. The lighting is like super Instagram model lighting. She did not miss a single spot. She is squeaky clean. The weird thing is he just put the body paint in her shampoo, so I guess she's using shampoo on like her ears and her eyelids and her lips, and parts of her back that most people can't even reach or observe what's on the screen and act it out. Okay, nerdworm. Okay, nerdworm. Nerdworm. Nerdworm? Mm, no. I'm not gonna be your bitch. <laughs> I'm not gonna be your bitch. Here's <laughs> 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 the catch. Her house is a lot smaller than mine, so this is gonna be a lot harder than it sounds. Damn, dude, what the fuck? Did this dude just poor shame his girlfriend? I feel severely flexed on. Like, how small is this girl's house? That it's gonna be that hard to hide from her. Alright guys, this one's gonna be really hard because my girlfriend's parents are fucking poor. Let's do this. Danny is making a complete mockery of observational comedy which makes it difficult to understand why he's making these videos in the first place and their overall purpose. Essentially, when you watch his videos, you reach a certain point where you have no idea why they should be under the label of comedy. To explain, let's start with the definition of observational comedy. We can see this definition of observational comedy unfold from watching one of Seinfeld's stand-up routines in his sitcom. In this clip, Jerry Seinfeld is making an observation about the snooze alarm. But if any invention marks the decline of human civilization, I think it would have to be the snooze alarm. The snooze alarm is based on the idea that when the alarm goes off, you are not getting up. You're not even awake, you're already a failure. They should sell the snooze alarm with an unemployment application and a bottle of tequila. Just make it a complete pathetic loser kit. As you can see from this clip, Seinfeld starts with making his observation that the snooze alarm is useless. 
But if any invention marks the decline of human civilization, I think it would have to be the snooze alarm. The snooze alarm is based on the idea that when the alarm goes off, you are not getting up. He then proceeds to branch out and make a joke by exaggerating how useless the snooze alarm is. You're not even awake, you're already a failure. They should sell the snooze alarm with an unemployment application and a bottle of tequila. Just make it a complete pathetic loser kit. According to this clip, we grasp a definition of observational comedy from the heralded king of this type of humor. Now, let's see what kind of humor Danny employs in his observational comedy. This wasn't as fun as it sounds. That's kind of funny because I, I wouldn't think that this would be that fun. I think that a more fun thing to do would be to hang out with your girlfriend at her house and not like hide in a closet at your girlfriend's house and hope she doesn't find you. Um, but to each his own. As you can see, this is not observational comedy, but simply observations. They sort of have a direction at the beginning and you know where they're going to go and then all of a sudden it's just like madness. I wanted to know exactly what kind of direction Danny goes about making his videos. So I took a sampling and analyzed them to determine how much observational comedy he makes in his videos. The videos I selected were the following four. This dude could be in your house right now, Morg's reaction, Paul Zimmer, not your average musically star, the worst pranks ever, Troom Troom reaction, bad Instagram, couples pranks. Over the courses of each video, I noted each time Danny made an observation, just simply stating what was happening in the video and nothing else. This is a good example of a Paul Zimmer musically because it's got him kind of just staring. Then I noted how many versions of his observational humor he made. What is this? Wait, this doesn't look like a safe. Wait, this doesn't look like a safe. And finally, Miscellaneous items such as him describing who the person he was doing a video on, plucking his own channel and merchandise, reading a channel description, and other things of that nature. If you're not part of Greg yet, guys, Greg is our family. We are the strongest channel on YouTube. We're the fastest growing channel on YouTube. Don't look that up. We were actually the first channel to hit 100 million subs and then lose it in the same day. But the important part is that we gained them in the first place. And don't ask why we lost them. You don't want to know. Danny spends the majority of the time in his videos simply stating what was happening in the clips he was reviewing. In the end, this amount of time outweighed his form of observational comedy. The Troom Troom video was an exception where the observations and his version of comedy seemed to be roughly the same percentages. The worst video out of the four I chose was the Morgs reaction video, where for 63% of the video, he is reading to us what is occurring and not making any form of comedic commentary. For comparison, Mimulus, another YouTuber who also uses observational comedy in his commentary, had commented on a scene in the same video that Danny was also reacting to. My Yeezy's through. He could have just said my legs are through or even my shoes through. He had to say my Yeezy's through. My Yeezy's through. Like, all, right, all right, mate, we get it. You have a really cool shoe. When Danny looks at the same scene, he just states what is occurring. But then eventually he gets his Yeezy in. Okay. Although it is not necessary for Danny to make the same jokes as this YouTuber, it is particularly jarring that he is not realizing the comedic potential. What is even more disturbing is that the continual comments he is making throughout the video is effectively redundancy. One of my favorite quotes is this, Insanity doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. What Danny is doing can be classified as insane and madness because he expects continual, non-comedic commentary to generate something that can be considered humorous. Unfortunately, this does not seem applicable in his form of YouTube videos. The dialogue in these is so weird. One of Danny's tried and true tactics for his commentary videos is doing one of the following things. Repeating a line from the video in an exaggerated tone. What the fuck was that? Or exaggerating an absurd remark in a video to the point that his branching joke breaks. As we saw earlier in the Seinfeld video, Seinfeld made sure that his joke did not become especially bizarre 
when making a quip about how useless snooze alarms were. But if any invention marks the decline of human civilization, I think it would have to be the snooze alarm. The snooze alarm is based on the idea that when the alarm goes off, you are not getting up. You're not even awake, you're already a failure. They should sell the snooze alarm with an unemployment application and a bottle of tequila. Just make it a complete pathetic loser kit. But we can see that this is not the case with Danny because he branches so far from the joke that it becomes bizarre and hard to decipher which direction he is going. Probably thinking at 9 p.m. most normal people would be getting ready for bed. I know for a fact, Kira will not be. 9 p.m.? Whoa, she's still awake at 9 p.m.? <laughs> most normal people I know would be getting ready for bed by then. I know I personally get ready for bed at 8.30 every night with a warm glass of milk and a bedtime story from my mommy. Danny will often just repeat something from the video in an exaggerated tone and expect it to be considered comedy. His lazy attempts to poke fun at the videos he is commentating on by acting them out, again, asserts that he does not realize, or maybe does not have the ability, to use satire to poke fun at the absurdities in the videos that he is watching. It's like, it's comedy that's based on situations that never happen. From my analysis, I hope you understand why his comments on Lele Pons can be applied to his own YouTube commentary. I sincerely hope that Danny Gonzalez improves on making his videos because he seems to at least acknowledge that these absurd videos should be poked fun at. Thanks for watching.